So today we have the small uh, Russell Hobbs 4 litre cooler. It's uh, RH4CLR101B. And that's the small box that it comes in. And then here we have the unit itself. Nice black colour, this one, nice and shiny with Russell Hobbs along the front. A single door hinge on the side, and then a nice metal looking clasp on the side, which is nice to open up. And then once you open it up, you've got a little uh, plastic holder that you have to slot in yourself into the door. I don't think you get too much in there, but you might get a few kind of chocolate bars or something like that in there. And then we've got the shelf, which comes out. Uh, so you can either take that out completely, put things in it, stack things up in there, or it's big enough for cans, as I'll probably show you in a minute, how many cans and things we can fit in. On the top, we've got a carry handle. And if I close it up and show you the back. Got a few ports on the back. We've got hot and cold settings uh, with a green and a red light on here. And finally, two inputs. So you can have 12 volts, so you can power it uh, from any uh, plug in your back of your car or any other means. Uh, and then we've got the mains cable as well on the back and then the large fan uh, along the bottom here to keep the um, insides cool or hot. The other items you should find in the fridge itself and not in the box are the two cables, uh, the 12 volt cable that you need uh, so you can run it in your car and the mains cable as well with the plug on. Right, so I've got a few cans, standard size. I've got a Pepsi Max bottle and a slightly smaller water bottle in there. So we're just gonna see what we can actually fit in. So there you go, two cans fit perfectly inside. We could then stand another can underneath. So two on the top and four underneath. So six cans in total. If I can get them out. And the Pepsi Max bottle is not going to fit in up long ways or any other way, so we're not going to fit a standard drinks bottle in this sized fridge. Uh, the smaller Essential Waitrose water bottle, again, long ways, it's not going to go in. I believe, if I take the shelf out, no, I'm not going to fit that in either. So, yeah. So I would say good for short camping trips, uh, university, dorm rooms, that sort of thing, or even a workplace, uh, but you're not going to fit a large uh, drinks bottle in there. So really what I'm going to say is small kind of one pint uh, milk cartons and taller cans of beer or small cans as well, as I've kind of just proven. Right, so I've just plugged it into the mains and I'm going to turn it on just so we can have a look at how much noise it generates. So that's on the hot setting, it's quite quiet. And now switch it over to cold and see if it makes any difference. No, I mean it's still quite a quiet fan. Don't think that would interrupt anybody uh, in an office. You might want to turn it off if you're going to bed, if you've got it close to your bed though. I think both, most of these um, fridges are very, very similar. So here's the Russell Hobbs we're looking at. Here's another kind of generic branded one. It looks slightly, obviously taller than the other one. 
it's got a little turn handle. Uh, two hinges on this one instead of one on the Russell Hobbs. I don't know what brand this is, but when you open it up, the actual sizes inside are very similar, just because this is taller, because uh, it's got a very thick edge lip to it, whereas the Russell Hobbs is very thin around the edges. So I think the capacity on these is very, very similar, uh, no matter what type you buy. Um, although, in this one, no, you, you still can't get a small bottle in here. So they are really just kind of Coke cans uh, and water bottles and other things in there that you want to keep cool. So they're all very similar, these things. Obviously, again, a carry handle on the top. And if I spin this one round, uh, it's a slightly uh, larger unit. It's got the fan on the back and the actual controls. The plug sockets are actually on the side. So very similar, this one. Uh, the main difference here is that you have to select your inputs. And that's about it, really. You've just got the hot and cold settings. You just have to choose AC or DC on the side of this version, which doesn't really have a brand to be honest not that I can tell a very generic one but I've got to say they are whatever type you buy they're very similar just check the sizing really of what literage of what you can actually put in them but otherwise Russell Hobbs very good very small very compact um, and very quiet to run if you want to have a look for this uh, I've got a few links in the description below of where to purchase it our version here came from Curry's. Right, so the size is 25.2 by 18 by 24 centimeters, height, width, and depth. The capacity is four liters, and the overall weight of the unit is two kilos. In the box, you'll get the Russell Hobbs mini cooler, the DC power cord, the AC power cord, and the shelving. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.